Hey guys, just got a Dutch oven and I wanted to put together, of course, Colonel Cluck here, a chicken dish. And I decided to put together this Mediterranean style Dutch oven chicken thighs. It's a fantastic recipe filled with flavors. You're going to love it. Let me show you how to do this. Okay guys, to kick things off here, I got four chicken thighs and of course skin on, bone in. And I'm going to season them up with some salt. And of course some ground black pepper. Give them a flip over and we'll do the same on the other side. And today we're going to test drive our new Dutch oven here. Oh, I just love this. It's so heavy. It's a five quart sent to me by a company. I'm going to do a better review in another video, but it's going to be great for kicking off our vintage recipe um, simply because they've been around for hundreds of years and you can do just about anything in them. I'm going to ask grandpa what he thinks. Boy, Dave, that's quite the fandangle rig. Wow, it's heavy. In my day, I could lift 10 of them, but I can't do that anymore. Boy, it would be great for recipes back in the 40s. That's all we ever used is these fandangled rigs here. Wow. Dave, when are we having those uh, uh, salad potatoes and hot dogs? They're going to be so good. Can we have those today, Dave? Yeah, really soon, Grandpa, guaranteed your potato salad and hot dogs. Maybe one of our first recipes. You're going to love it, but today we're using this fandangled rig the Dutch oven. So I've got my Dutch oven preheated here over medium high heat so I'm just going to add in a bit of olive oil. Now I'm going to set the chicken in skin side down and we're going to let this cook for about nine minutes over medium heat and don't touch it otherwise it's going to stick to the pan. After about nine minutes they're nicely browned up. So I'm just going to give them a flip to the other side and we'll let them cook for another five minutes on that side. Alrighty then, after about five minutes on the other side, the chicken is nicely done. I'm going to set this aside on a plate. And just look at that guys, beautifully crispy. Yum. Alright, in the same Dutch oven, notice I said Dutch oven and not pan, I'm going to add in about half a red onion and five cloves, four cloves I should say, of garlic sliced thinly. And I'm going to saute this until the onions are translucent and that garlic is fragrant and it just fills the air. After the garlic is beautifully fragrant, I'm going to add in all about five sprigs of fresh thyme three quarters of a cup of chicken broth, about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Mm, I just love Dijon. And I'm just going to stir this around and we're just going to let this come to a simmer. Now after a simmer I'm going to kill the heat, add the asparagus in, and this is a good handful or just about a bundle with the the ends trimmed off, of course. Place the chicken back in. Oh, stop clucking, you guys. Add in a couple of handfuls of cherry tomatoes, and I'm just going to spread these around. This is one thing I really love, guys, is cherry tomatoes. And a combination of black and green olives. This is just like the Mediterranean. And I'm going to slip this into a 375 degree Fahrenheit, 200 Celsius, preheated oven for about half an hour. After about half an hour, guys, there you have it, our Mediterranean style Dutch oven chicken thighs. That's a long one to get out. Absolutely spectacular. Mm, it just smells so good and looks so good. Okay, let's go ahead and plate this up before the taste test. So we're going to do some chicken and some of that yummy asparagus. Some tomatoes or tomatoes. And of course, you can't forget some of those 
healthy, yummy Mediterranean olives and a little bit of thyme. To drizzle some of that yummy sauce over the top. This would be really good on some steamed rice too. Or even fried rice for that matter. Okay, let's dig in here. So I get some chicken and some tomatoes, olives, and a bit of that asparagus. And just look at this, guys. Just incredible. Mm. Do you know what comes through? The tenderness of the chicken. Of course, that Mediterranean style, the olives and tomatoes, the asparagus. Mm. It just blends together so nicely. Mm, I'm gonna need more of this. Gotta try this, guys. So good. As always, guys, for this recipe and many more great recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com. By the way, we're currently revamping the website. We should have that done in a while. Thanks for watching, thanks for subbing, and watch our next or our last recipes and see you next time. Hey Dave, was that potato salad and wiener's done yet? The cat and I are getting hungry. <laughs>